What's up ladies and gents, and it's time for a new YouTube video. So to start with, I'm gonna tell you what things I'm gonna cover today. First of all, I'm gonna talk about the update which BRG released on November 29th. It was a server merge. Second thing I'm gonna talk about what they changed in the game and then they reverted it back the next day, even though I like the update. And third, I'm gonna show you how the new raids look like. So the original patch came out on November 28th when BSG were merging the servers into a um, regional selection. That doesn't mean anyone is getting region locked, it's not like Russians will play on Russian servers, uh, peeps from North America will play on NA, uh, Asian on Asia, and etc. That's a different thing. So right now, when you open the browser, the AKA server browser in your launcher, you can select a bunch of different regions. And that purely depends on your ping. It doesn't matter where you're from, and it doesn't matter which edition of the game you bought. Like you can have Russian edition, European edition, um, an A edition, Asian edition, etc. Whatever. So it purely depends on your ping. For example, me, I can play on all EU, all Russian servers, and most of NA servers. So for me, not much has changed. I can't play in South Africa because my ping is 220, and I can't play on Africa, China, and Asia. And those uh, those regions are actually pretty new. Because originally BG released only one region for those servers, and uh, sorry, not not including Africa, China and Asia, China, Asia, and um, and Australia. And lots of people were having issues with those regions because Australians would connect to Asian servers, would get disconnected, and vice versa, Asians would connect to Australia and get disconnected because of high ping. And on 29th of November, BG released another small patch, which uh, fixed that issue. So right now you can actually select China, Asia, and Australia separately. So people shouldn't have any problems um, playing the game and they won't be getting kicked from the game either. So how does this actually work? I think that BZ just merged a couple of servers into a small region, for example, uh, Russia West. That's where I'm from. I would assume it has Moscow, St. Petersburg and maybe another server like Ekaterinburg or whatever. And when I select this region and play the game, it will match me against other players who have selected this region and it's going to put all of us on one server. And such, sele such selection actually prevents a couple of things. First of all, I think people will have less empty raids. You will have more players in your raids. Secondly, people won't be able to abuse the quest when you load into the same raid with your teammates but not in a lobby and you do the quest to kill PMCs or do the headshots or whatever. And another thing, uh, I heard people, some, well, some people were complaining that there are people farming different maps on empty servers, and with this system, there should be less empty servers. But more about that later. So more or less, this is the whole update. I hope you understand now how it works and nobody's getting region locked, which you might have heard um, in some other places. So I've played the game for the past two days with a new server selection and it does feel like I'm getting more players per raid. The games do feel uh, less empty. Most of the lapse raids I've had had 8 plus players, which was unthinkable before. But today I got two empty, yeah, two maybe one empty lab lobbies where I found completely no one. I looked at the whole map, didn't hear a single shot, didn't see a single player and I extracted. it. And on the first day of testing I played Woods Daytime, a decent amount of players. Reserve was swapping as well, but when I tried to play Nighttime Woods, I think I've heard only two players. I couldn't find anyone, but I heard two separate gunshots in different areas. So even though I think it's very unlikely that they're gonna get an empty game, if you're playing on a U or an A, empty servers still do exist. I watched Pestily for a while um, today, and he was actually getting some empty raids on Factory. I've seen him running into one PMC only every other raid. So I guess if you play on Australia of primetime or on servers like South Africa, you will be getting a lot of empty raids. So how is BG gonna fix this? I don't know. Well, let's see, let's see what happens. But overall, if you're from NA or EU, this change is definitely good for you. Let's talk about some changes which BG applied yesterday, but they reverted them back. So there was a really small and also huge change at the same time. Um, if you looked at the currency yesterday, dollars were 66 rubles uh, instead of being 110. And the same thing happened to Euro. Euros were 66 rubles as well. And uh, all the prices for the um, items which you can buy in dollars, they rose. So for example, if you can buy Night Vision right now for $2,000, it rose to 3k dollars, but I think overall it became cheaper. I'm not sure if my conversion was correct. And I think it was to do with the fact that the BG is trying to correlate dollars and euros to the real life pricing. Because right now, I think within the past uh, if, you, if you average dollar in real life, 
uh, within the past three months, the price of the dollar would actually be 66 uh, rubles per dollar. And right now it's around 61 ruble per dollar. I thought that's what BSG done. But they instantly reverted the, this change today. I try asking them why I didn't get any response. Um, and I assume this might be the change for the next patch. Next patch we might get a uh, flexible economy with, uh, with more realistic values of dollars and euros. And also at the same time they lower the price of Bitcoin. Right now you can sell Bitcoin I think for 93,000 rubles. If I have any Bitcoins. Um, and yesterday you were able to sell Bitcoin for 63 thousand rubles but that didn't make any sense mathematically because if you were to tie uh, to tie up the price of the Bitcoin to the real price of Bitcoin and our Bitcoins in game are 0.2 Bitcoins of, uh, of of the whole thing Bitcoins in game should be 200 thousand rubles but they weren't so yeah let's see what happens next swipe I really I really hope we're gonna have some uh, proper integration with um, real life currencies um, and uh, and their values and yeah, since I spoke about labs and how full my raids were, I think this is the time I actually show you how my raids looked like. I'm gonna share one cool raid, which was extremely full, with a bunch of action. And yeah, enjoy that raid. I hope you learned something new today from this intro. And yeah, let me know down in the comments what you think about this whole change, if uh, this change actually affected you much. Ah, uh, man, I'm tired of talking. Let's get, let's get into the content. Enjoy. Trial server removed right now. You have to play with 50 plus pings. Uh, what if you connect to Middle East? What's your ping to Middle East server? Like, uh, region, region. Pardon? How are you doing today? <laughs> Man, servers are full as hell. Literally, there's like at least seven players on the server. Is he feather? Oh, he's above me! Oh my lord, he's above me, chat. Come play because of the ping problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard about that. BG is investigating. Are you are you from Asia? Or are you from OCE? I don't think this is the guy I heard though. Oh shit, bro. Bro, I don't get it. Like, where is he shooting from? Man, this guy was something else. This guy was something fucking else, bro. Oh, this comes in handy, bro. Um, which bullets? M62. Chad, is M62 decent? Like... Or should I stick to... M61s? Am I planning to do a video about the patch and how it feels? Yeah, yeah, I think I'll do it for tomorrow. Bro, can I want to keep this one? Sixty-eight. This guy's a high level, huh? 